Dragon has returned to planet Earth. Splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean on Friday, SpaceX's capsule proves to NASA that the private company is capable of sending manned flights into space. For SpaceX's founder, Elon Musk, it's only the beginning of an ambitious mission. We should have a base on the moon, like a, a permanently occupied human base on the moon and send people to Mars, you know, and a city, build a city on Mars. That's what we should do. Along with Elon Musk, other billionaires such as Amazon's Jeff Bezos or Virgin's Richard Branson have also invested in space transportation. Thanks to the development of reusable rockets, the companies are lowering the cost of space exploration, and this is attracting a new range of investors. We don't invest in warp drive or, or you know, um, some kind of interstellar travel. We're investing in businesses. Uh, manufacturing in space, we're very interested in that. It allows you to do a lot more, um, build larger structures in space. While such programs could appear threatening to NASA, the government agency is welcoming the move, even providing funding. The U.S. stopped using its own rockets ever since the end of the space shuttle program eight years ago, and now rely on Russian Soyuz rockets. NASA astronauts would now use these private travel companies instead. NASA's moving more now toward innovation and invention and basic research and development and letting companies run the business. SpaceX Dragon, we are if all goes well, SpaceX will send two astronauts into space aboard Dragon as early as July this year.